Hello and welcome to your favourite teacher. Today I'm just going to do a quick podcast on the poem London by William Blake. Now, um, this poem, it's quite a short poem um, and the way that it's linked to power and conflict might be less obvious than in some of the other ones. So I need you to look out for the sort of subtle digs that Blake is giving here. Some important pieces of context to know. Um, This was at the time of the French Revolution and Blake was a a large, a strong supporter of the French Revolution. Um, And that's basically where the, sorry, it's very windy out here, where the monarchy in France were killed um, because they had been abusing their power and kind of caused poverty for the whole nation. Anyone who's seen uh, Les Miserables, that's all based on the French Revolution. Um, So similarly, the same sort of issues were happening in London and people were feeling disgruntled about the way in which uh, the people were were oppressed in the city and the the poverty that was stricken. Um, And we've got an allusion to this when Blake talks about the blood running down palace walls. So perhaps implying here that, that we could see a similar revolution in England. Now, I'm just going to do a quick reading through of the poem and then I'll point out some of the more important things to note. So, I want you thinking all the time about how this links to power or conflict and also where there might be some overlaps with some of the other poems. So, London. I wandered through each chartered street near where the chartered Thames does flow and mark in every face I meet marks of weakness marks of woe in every cry of every man in every infant's fear in every voice in every ban the mind forged manacles i hear how the chimney sweepers cry every black blackening church appalls and the hapless soldier's sigh runs in blood down palace walls But most through midnight streets I hear how the youthful harlots curse, blast the newborn infant's tear and blights the plagues, the marriage hearse. Okay, sorry, there's a few stumbles there. Um, So this, when when you read this out, actually, we've got iambic pentameter, so it's important for for structure. Um, So it seems quite very rhythmic, almost song-like, which again, when we have a song-like structure um, and this rhyming scheme, when we have something that's really negative, there's kind of a juxtaposition here because we think of we think of rhymes and we think of song as a positive, upbeat thing. Um, so when we've actually got something really negative, that can be quite an interesting, an interesting use of rhyme. Also, the fact that we've got this monotony here, so um, it's like dun 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 dun. Um, that might show the fact that that life is just chugging along. Um, each chartered street and mark in every face I meet, marks of weakness, marks of woe. It's almost like you can imagine um, labourers going going through this. We've got so much repetition. Um, so the way he, he, he repeats marks, showing how um, there are almost these scars on, on the people that he observes when he's walking through um, the chartered streets. We have chartered repeated, um, showing that they've been ordered, but yet there's there's no real um, sensibility in what's happening in London. We've also got the repetition of every. It's it's inescapable this oppression. It's universal. He's not. It's not just in a one area of the town. It's in every cry of every man, in every infant's cry of it. You know, it's they're everywhere. Um, everyone is trapped in these chains so the mind forged manacles um, excellent metaphor here and it's this idea that you are trapped by social constructs Um, the fact that people were stuck in in their place in society and had no way to move out of it um, and these these chains have probably been created by the people in power. So it's a real accusation there that, that they are keeping the citizens of London um, trapped in their lives of drudgery. We've got some context. Um, so chimney sweepers cry and blackening church showing, you know, London at that time, um, you know, there was... 
Um, it was extremely polluted. Chimney sweepers are a contextual reference, showing also that child labour, when we think of chimney sweeps, um, it's all, it seems to be a, a young child that was sent up there. Again, showing how poor people were that they were having to send their children to work um, just to survive. The blackening church, it could be talking about um, the pollution in, in the city, but it might also be talking about how there's corruption even in the religious fraction. So when we when we hear see colour imagery of light and dark, we know that darkness is normally negative. Um, again, can be linked to the idea of oppression and the fact that perhaps the church and state work together here to keep people downtrodden runs in blood down palace walls now blood is an excellent representation of guilt um if if you've studied macbeth we have lady macbeth who can't get the blood out of her hands um and here it's saying that perhaps the palace are responsible for uh the death that is going on in the in the awful living conditions um so towards the end of the poem the final thing here we've got uh the context of of perhaps prostitutions and babies crying and all of these things are ruining um you know something that should be nice and marriage hearse but it's being plagued so again a plague would have been a reference for the time again it kills thousands of people and here it's just a very dismal picture of of the capital city um, the person who's who's doing this, the voice, is anonymous. So it's not that William Blake is walking through London, but it certainly represents some of his ideas. Um, he was regarded as a romantic poet um, and quite a radical thinker. And he wasn't really very well known during his lifetime. It was only really after, um, after his death. But he did really believe in the idea of revolution and rebellion. And so that's why this poem is probably in this cluster because um, where you have power you also have revolt so you can oppose power if you want to and I think Blake is someone that's trying to do this um, the key sort of theme here is is the idea of oppression so power being misused so we can link that to say my last duchess um, or charge of the light brigade maybe where we have someone in power making making a mistake and it causing lots of um lots of damage you might also want to link it with something like storm on the island because there we have how society is helpless against nature but here we have society that's causing causing the issues so main things that he does then we've got lots of rhyme and rhythm we've got lots of repetition that adds to that um, some of his vocabulary choices are really quite quite aggressive and forceful we've got appalls blasts blights uh, which shows the violent tone um, I'd say one of the best things here to remember is this mind forged manacles not only is it clever um, mind forged manacles it's sort of alliterative there um, but it really does show how trapped people were the idea that people were enslaved in chains um, that are a product of the imagination links with the concept of slavery uh, so again perhaps you could link it to checking out my history again that government is what's ruling um, people's decisions people's education there's lots of things here that you can talk about and it's a really good poem I think to to have as one of your top ones to try and remember key quotes for um, so again, it's easy to remember the, the repetition of every, the mind forged manacles, um, perhaps the marks of weakness, marks of woe is a good one. And, and a great final quote to remember runs in blood down palace walls. OK, hopefully that's been helpful. Sorry for all of the breeziness going on out here. It's quite a windy, windy day and I decided to do this in my garden. Hope you're all well and I shall do another podcast soon.